This was the first trade that we took here. This is when we started out with $50. And this trade went really well because I only had $50. I couldn't afford to have a really tight stop loss. Like we're trying to flip the account. So we're trying to use as much leverage as possible. We were all or nothing on this one. Um, and then this did really well. We got all the way up to, I think it was 160 pips. So that's something I'm gonna explain really quick. If you are trying to flip an account, you do wanna use high volatile like high volatile pairs. Cause if you think about it from here to here, this was 160 pips in an hour and 45 minutes. Any other pair you would have traded, you would never get 161 pips in an hour and 45. That's why I trade US 30 when I'm trying to do these flip challenges. If this were, you know, EuroCAD, GBP odd, USD JPY, you would probably only get like in the same time frame anywhere from like 10 pips to like 30 pips. So, but if you're trying to flip it really fast, um, US 30 is definitely the way to go. Uh, you can also trade, you can also trade pairs like gold. That works too. For the, for those who really like to trade gold, gold is definitely a solid pick. Um, but personally, I love the way US 30 moves. I tend to stick to mostly buys just because I notice US 30 tends to go up more overall. For example, if we, you know, zoom out here on the, let's say the daily, just over the time, like US 30 just constantly trends up, right? Compared to another pair, like if you were to do like GBP odd, for example, you know, the same time frame, it's back and forth, back and forth. So that's another thing too. If you'd like to trade long term, try to stick to the indices. You know, if you were to trade long term, like you just all only take buys and you should be good, right? Um, but anyways, we're getting off topic here. So we're gonna get back to our one minute chart. We actually made $79 on our first trade here. So this is good. We pretty much doubled or just more than double our account on the first trade. So in your first couple of trades, when you are trying to flip an account, it's really important to get up to a good amount before you start putting in leverage. Cause here, like if I failed this trade, it would have been done. Challenge would have been over and I have to restart. Uh, so it's really important to get a good amount of money right away. Uh, so that $79 is really good for us. So yeah, here we made $79 on this trade. So yeah, that did really good. I'm gonna explain each trade at the end of the video for those who actually want to use the same strategy that I use. Yeah, so this first trade was really good. Got us $79 right away. Good start. And our last trade that we did was like our best trade. And we also had like a perfect entry using my strategy. So I'm going to get into that at the end of the video as well. Uh, next trade was pretty basic. It was just a continuation off of this trade. I knew price start was starting to trend upwards. Like as you can see before here, we were in a nice little downtrend. Here we were starting to trend upwards. So, you know, after I cashed out this trade, I just took a nice little continuation from here. Um, you'll see me exit out of trades a lot. That's because every time I exit a trade, I'm trying to use that money so for more leverage. Um, so when I close the trade, I will then up my leverage, up my lot size so I can get more money faster because I was trying to really grow this account as fast as I could. Okay, so next trade here, we came up, price pulled back a little bit into our zone here. I entered off of that and this trade was also really good. Uh, price just ran up right into our take profit. I actually didn't have a take profit. I was manually exiting most of these, um, but I knew to exit up here. So this trade was really good. We ended up get making, we ended up making $173 off of this trade, $173 off of that trade. By the time we got up to this trade here, we were up to $173. So I just closed that trade because we also were coming up to on the 15 minute zone here, as we can see. This right here was an important zone for me. We had a lot of sell pressure from it and buy pressure from it. So I figured this would be a zone where price is gonna struggle a little bit. So I wanted to just get out of the trade and that's what I did. So yeah, that went really well for us because fortunately our next trade actually happened to be off of that zone too. Um, this trade was almost scary because we almost lost a bunch of our money from our account, which is all right because we didn't actually close our trade right here. We were up a bit of profit and then actually price started to come back into our stop loss, which uh, was a little bit scary, but luckily price came back down and then I learned my lesson for the first time. I ended up taking profit right around the same spot. So with that trade, we just made $180 and we got out. Um, and then by this time it was getting a little bit late uh, for me to stick around and watch the charts. So I decided I was just gonna quit for the day. I was already up to a 180 from that. Plus I was up 170 here and 79 there. So yeah, pretty much with these three trades right here, I was already up to like 
$450, I think. So that was pretty good. In our first day, we literally like eight times our account. So yeah, that was really solid for us. Um, just want to say, I wouldn't really recommend doing this. Like for me, this is just kind of for fun. Like at this point when you're training like this, this is pretty much gambling. Like you just, you have to get lucky. You have to make sure you, like you don't lose any trades. Like if I lost one of these trades, I probably would have blown like most of the account at once. And actually I did do this challenge for already and I, and I got up to like a thousand dollars and then I blew it all. So I just never ended up making a video about it. Uh, so I thought I'd try it again. And this time it went really well. So yeah, we're gonna continue on to the next day. I'm gonna explain each trade at the end of the video for those who actually want to use the same strategy that I use. So a lot happened in between this trade and the next trade. So I'm just gonna skip forward here. All right, so this was the next day here. As you can see, same exact thing as yesterday. I saw price was heavily in a downtrend, you know, uh, the morning before I got into the trade. I kind of waited till around 10 p.m. to start this. Sometimes I don't like to get caught in that 9.30 rush in the morning. Uh, every day at 9.30, there'll either be a big push down or a big push up. Sometimes you have a push up and then a push down where it's trying to like fake out all the traders and whatnot. Um, so I kind of wait a little bit more till 10.30, 11 to start trading. Uh, just because price seems to be a little bit more steady, more predictable for me. This area was pretty good for us too. We ended up getting on an entry right here. And with this trade, since we had a lot more in our account, like by this time we had, it was like $450 or something in our account. So we could use a little bit higher leverage. So for this, I think I used something higher. Let me actually see here. So here is actually using about $4 per pip. Um, so each pip is a lot and like it happens fast. Right, so like when you're trading US 30, each candle has a lot of pips in it. This candle alone here has 22.5 pips, just in one candle. Like if we were to go to any other pair, each candle maybe has like two pips, sometimes not even a full pip in one candle. Um, and even like the smallest candle on US 30, you know, something like this, already has three pips in it. So <clears throat> this is why I trade US 30. But like I said, like only trade like this if you're having fun. Um, challenge this is just a challenge for me it was just simply to test my luck combined with obviously strategies that i used to see what would work i never actually trade like this it's strictly just for a challenge and it was fun <clears throat> once again price just ran straight up into our take profit and i also never had a take profit set here i just close it manually um here i think we were up 900 dollars. let me see here so yeah we were up 930 dollars on this trade so yeah that went really well for us um, so that by this point we had a good amount um, and I was honestly tempted to and I was honestly tempted just to end it right here um, But I had to keep going just for you guys. I wanted to, to challenge myself even further So I did one last trade and by this point I could use a lot more leverage because we had more money in our account So once again, just like the day before same exact thing. This is why markets can be predictable um, So just like yesterday when I kind of stopped at this top part here I did the same thing on this day here. So we had this top kind of part going on here. So I wanted to exit before we got up to that. Um, and then price started, you know, making these candles up here and I was kind of scared that price was gonna reverse from here. And then as you know, as you can see, it just popped like right back up into this zone and started playing off of that. So I just got out of the trade. And once again, just like yesterday, like as you see, when we came up to here, look, I looked for a sell and I got a sell. Price came up to that area again and look what I'm doing I'm looking for a sell so this was our final trade that we just stopped our challenge at we just traded off of that price came up a little bit and then went straight down into our take profit and once again I wasn't looking to grab like a huge you know pullback off of that because like yesterday I wasn't expecting anything like that you know I just expected a nice little downward move to kind of the bottom of this area here just like how yesterday price came down to the bottom of that area I was just looking for the same thing to repeat, right? We ended up cashing this out for a total of 710. And there we go. Just like that, we went from a $50 account all the way up to a $2,000 account in the matter of maybe a day and a little bit. It wasn't even that much. So we're gonna examine this first trade of this day here. Uh, this one was pretty standard for me, right? Like 
we had a downtrend going on. And if we go to the 15 minute, as we can see, price is starting to move upwards. So I knew we had a continuation of trend going on. So when I hop back on the one minute, literally all I do, and anyone who watches my channel knows, my trading strategy is very simple. What I do, all I do is mar mark out the last lower high. So as we can see, we mark out the last lower high here. And this last lower high is confirmed by my MACD. So I have this MACD indicator here. And from this green pulse to this green pulse here, we had these two highs on the candle. So this for me is the last lower high. And all I'm doing, right, like I'm just trying to catch a reversal of a trend on the smaller time frame. So, and then that reversal was confirmed by me when we had this nice little impulse up and we broke this zone. So for me, I wait for price to pull back into our zone. And a zone for me can be an area where this consolidation, it can be an area where there is um, an order block. So for example, I could see that as an order block. Um, and then an order where I see a lot of liqui liquidity. So I saw this big candle here. So generally I will enter when price pulls back into this area. I ended up entering off this order block here uh, and then price dipped down a little bit further. That's why you gotta make sure to at least cover you know, a good amount. If I just put my style blocks right here, I would have been out, but luckily I set a good amount for myself. And then from there price just ran up straight into our, straight up until we closed our trade. So it's very simple and that's how my trading style is. I got a little competition going on. So if you're interested in doing it, I'm actually gonna give away $2,000 to whoever can flip to the highest amount. So how I thought about doing it, I asked you guys in the Discord, we're gonna give away $2,000. I'll split it four ways uh, into four winners. So the top four people who get the highest amount flipped from $50, uh, you guys will win. So I'm gonna put my link below to the broker I use, Hanko Trade. You have to sign up with Hanko Trade. This video is actually gonna be brought to you by Hanko Trade. They are gonna pay for the winners. So this is what you're gonna do. You will sign up with Hanko Trade, make a live account. It has to be live, make a $50 deposit. You can't make a demo if you make a demo. The challenge does not work like that because you can make as many demos as you want and just flip to the highest amount. Gotta be real live money and just flip to the highest amount that you can trade as much as possible flip to the highest amount and the top four people to get the highest amount will win what I'm gonna do is in the discord I'm going to put a place where you could submit how much you've made you have to submit your screenshots uh, in a video recording to show it is a live account how much you got up to and the top four people who make the most will win $500 to each person so yeah that's something we're gonna do um, and then if you if you actually if you need a good broker I would recommend signing up with Hango Trade anyways even if you don't want to do the flip challenge the link will be down below but yeah that's gonna be it for the video thanks for watching